Hello everyone, this is Bill Apter down here in the newly refurbished Apter's Alley. Lots of things to show you in the next few weeks, but that's not why I'm here. I want to talk about WrestleMania weekend starting Thursday, the Thursday preceding WrestleMania. Um, courtesy of Gimmick Tree Entertainment, I will be at the NWA Night of Champions. It's going to be a great card, and I will have copies of my book for sale, and can't wait to meet every one of you, each and every one of you, 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 and you out there as well. Then on Friday, all day at WrestleCon, and on Friday night at the CZW show, um, on Saturday, WrestleCon all day, and courtesy of Gimmick Tree Entertainment, uh, I will be conducting a very special Q&A with a major star. Saturday night, the WWE Hall of Fame. I'm so looking forward to uh, to that as well. And Sunday, during the day, I'm going to try right across the street from AT&T. Uh, what am I leaning on, one of you just said? This is my old uh, WrestleMania chair here. I was right up there. Right? I was. But anyway, on uh, well, let me sit down and talk to you. On Sunday, on that Sunday, I'm going to try and crash that Terry Funk tailgate party that's going on. So uh, you can look for me there. And, of course, Sunday night, I will be somewhere at WrestleMania. So let's talk about someone who nobody is talking about regarding WrestleMania. Everybody's talking about, you know, The Rock's going to be there and Stone Cold Steve Austin and Mick Foley and who knows what other legends. But there's something very suspicious going on. And I want to, this is my final, final prediction. I know I've made a final prediction already, but this is my final, final prediction until my next final prediction. So what if, and people are going to write in here and, and say, after you're nuts, there's no way this can happen. But what if Shane McMahon does lose because of somehow, even not physically touching him, but just the presence of Seth Rollins being present. Nobody's talking about Seth Rollins. You know, what kind of condition is he in? Nobody knows right this particular second, but, but to save the butt of the authority from being ousted by Shane McMahon, think of this, that somehow Seth Rollins distracts Shane McMahon. Something happens there. I don't know what. And Undertaker winds up beating McMahon, again, saving the butt of the authority. And the next night, on Monday Night Raw, crazy, right? The next night, on Monday Night Raw, the authority comes out with Seth Rollins in whatever condition he's in and their newest acquisition, The Undertaker. It's a possibility, right? I mean, it, it, think about it. It's a possibility that... It could indeed happen. The, the lone guy here, though, that I haven't been able to figure out what happens if that scenario takes place is Vince McMahon. Although Vince McMahon and Shane have been, you know, getting along because Shane allegedly has something on, uh, on Vince there. But truthfully, Stephanie is daddy's little girl. So uh, that is what I think at this point is going to happen uh, in the Hell in a Cell match. So um, let me know what you think. Okay, you can leave your uh, um, you can leave your comments uh, here on YouTube. Uh, you can leave your comments on my Twitter at After One Wrestling. That's the number one, not the word. Or you can email me at beaptor at onewrestling.com. And it's Aptor, not Apner. There's no N in it. Dusty Rhodes always used to call me Willie Apna, and so many people still call me that. Anyway, looking forward to uh, seeing all of you uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, this is going to be great. Bill Apter, see you at the matches, and I cannot wait to hear what you think of my latest, my latest prediction for that match. And I'll be back later this week with my predictions for the entire show. See you at the matches.